Hey guys, what is up? It's Jess and welcome back to my channel. Today I am bringing you a video for the first time in six months because I am the worst YouTuber ever. Let's honestly, oh my god. So before we jump too far into the video, I'm actually wearing this palette right now. I did a little tutorial on this by the way, so if you want to jump right to the review, I will let you guys do that. Otherwise, here is the tutorial. Okay guys, mini tutorial time. So starting out, I'm taking a combination of the shades Nougat and Mousse and buffing that into my crease just as the base for the rest of the eyeshadow look. And now I am taking the shade Peanut Butter, which you guys will soon find out is my favorite, just to give it that orangey hint that I absolutely adore. And then I'm going in with the shade Coconut Cream, just to kind of buff out the edges and make it look really smooth and blend together really nicely. Now in the outer third, I am using the brown shade Truffled. I love this shade. It just adds some depth to the look, but it doesn't make it too dark, which is absolutely perfect. I don't want this look to be super dark. I want it to be a lighter, more everyday kind of look, you know? And moving on, there we go, uh, we are putting caramel all over the lid. I love this shade. It's just a nice gold. And for mascara today, I am using the L'Oreal Butterfly Sculpt, just a nice little drugstore mascara. Anyway, today I'm bringing you a video that is completely different to videos I've uploaded in the past. I'm bringing you a makeup palette review, which is something I've never done. I've never reviewed a product in my entire life, although I bought this the other day and I just kind of felt like I should. So I did. <laughs> today I'm reviewing this guy, which is the Too Faced Semi-Sweet Chocolate Bar Palette, and honestly, this is so beautiful. <laughs> if you know me in person, you know I love my makeup, I love my palettes, I love my sparkles, I like anything that glitters. For me to like this this much is pretty insane because I like a lot of makeup. This palette right here retails for $49, which is one of the reasons why I was so hesitant on buying it. I never shopped or used Too Faced products before and I wasn't sure I wanted the first thing I used by them to be like $50. Like that's a lot <laughs> for something I've never used. But honestly, in hindsight, I've only used this product for a few days and I already know it is 100% worth the money in my head. Obviously everyone's viewpoints are different. For starters, the packaging alone honestly sold me. Like, look how cute this is. I saved this just because it was so cute and it's literally been sitting on my vanity because I thought it looked so cute. <laughs> and on the back, it also has a chart of all the shades, which is another plus because not every place does that. And it's honestly really nice. I have never seen an eyeshadow palette come in like, I don't even know what this is. It's like tin or like plastic or something, but it's like actually really sturdy. I think this would be good for people like me who travel a lot. I like to travel and I love to take my makeup with me and I'm always terrified it's going to break on the plane. So I think this is a good choice for that. It's nice and travelable. If you work or go to school like I do and have like a little travel makeup bag that you take with you, this is perfect for that because it can probably be put through a lot and not break. I mean, knock on wood, I haven't actually tried that yet, but just from visual looking and like dropping it a few times in my house already, it's been fine. <laughs> Literally the day I bought this palette, I didn't even like use it. I just opened it up and I smelled it like throughout the day because it is so good. It smells like chocolate and vanilla and it is to die for. Ooh, hoo -hoo, I just stuck my thumb in licorice and <laughs> you can see it. That makes me sad. <laughs> Now just so you guys know, if you do wear these shadows, the smell does not last. It honestly fades really quick, so no worries there. It won't interfere with anything else on your face, I don't think, at least. Anyway, this is what the palette itself looks like. In my opinion, it has a great blend of mattes and shimmer shades, which means it is very versatile in the types of looks you can do, so it is good for a lot of things. You can do natural every day, or maybe smoke it out a little bit for an evening look. The shadows are so soft and creamy and buttery, and I am in love, and I honestly get what the whole Too Faced hype is about. It is so great. And of all the shades in this palette, there was only one that disappointed me, and that is that pink shade right there, I'm trying to point to it right there. It is called Pink Sugar and the only reason I didn't really like it is because it's not really buildable and I was hoping when I bought this that I would be able to use that shade. Like that was one of the shades that I was super excited to use and when I went to go use it, it just didn't impress me. I get the idea of why they put it in there. It's just kind of like a glitter that goes over the top of your lid or whatever makeup you wanted to put it on, but it didn't impress me as much as I had hoped it would. Other than that though, these shades are incredible. I love them. They are so beautiful. They are very pigmented, easy to blend, and super, super soft. The formula and the Too Faced shadows are to die for. <laughs> it is so beautiful. 
My favorite shadow in this palette is probably this one right here. It's called Peanut Butter. I have a very similar shade to that in my Morphe 35F palette that I use all the time. So I'm super happy that I have another one now by Too Faced. Oh, girl, I am like in love. Just visually, this palette, the semi-sweet, was the one that stood out to me the most out of all the chocolate bar palettes. I just thought it had the nicest variety. I didn't see myself really using the shades in the Bon Bon or just the regular chocolate bar palette. 10 out of 10 would recommend. Honestly, I am so in love with this palette. It's insane. I like love 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 this palette so much so that I am so ready to go back and buy another Too Faced palette because I I definitely think more people should have this palette in their collection. It's really versatile and I can definitely see myself using it in an almost everyday setting. I've only had this little guy for a few days, but I can already tell he's gonna grow to be one of those palettes that I reach to every single morning. And I am just, I am in love. Overall, I think I would rate this palette four and a half out of five stars just because there were a few shades that I wasn't super impressed with. Too Faced is definitely going to become a brand that I go to regularly and I'm super excited to see what other things they come out with in the future. So that is it for today's video, guys. If you did like it, give it a thumbs up. Let me know if you guys want to see any more makeup reviews. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys all later.